everyone. Welcome to WCTV Sports. I'm Matt Linz. Christian Fernandes will be along with me in just a few moments. We want to welcome you to Wareham High School, where we have girls varsity basketball for you tonight. The Vikings are hosting the Westport Wildcats, and this is going to be a tough challenge for the Vikings tonight, as Westport is 7-1 overall, so it's a real tough team. Vikings, meanwhile, still looking for their first win in the conference. This is a non-conference game tonight, and Wareham is 2-8 and eight overall. So they're going to be looking to their leaders tonight. We've seen Johnny Tompkins has been the leader on the floor for the Vikings. She's been playing pretty much the entire game, start to finish. And Coach Alderley has got all of these women playing hard. They play a full game from start to finish. They don't give up. They continue to play aggressive even at the end of the game, regardless of any deficit that might be on the scoreboard. So glad to have you with us. Hang in there. We'll be back with the starting lineups just after this. Their experience and integrity qualify them for this important responsibility. Athletes and fans are expected to demonstrate good sportsmanship to everyone here. Negative behavior will not be tolerated and will result in expulsion from this gymnasium. The officials for tonight's game are Mary Bradbury and David Audette. The Wildcats record is 0-1 in the league and 7-1 overall. The Vikings record is 0-7 in the league and 2-8 overall. Westport's head coach is Jen Gargilio and she's assisted by Nikita Soares. And now starting for the Wildcats. At guard, sophomore, number one, Julia George. At center, sophomore, number 21, Jenna Egby. At guard, junior, number three, Captain Corinne Holden. At guard, senior, number four, Leah Silden. At forward, junior, number 33, Captain Sarah Perry. Wareham's head coach is Justin Ogilvy, and he is assisted by Kendall Baptiste. And now, starting for the Vikings, at guard, freshman, number 14, Johnny Tompkins. At guard, sophomore, number 23, Zora Andrews. At guard, junior, number 11, Harley Glover. At forward, junior, number four, Captain Kira Pierre. And at forward, junior, number 25, Captain Rihanna Phillips. A reminder, food and drink are not allowed in the gymnasium, and we ask that you do not walk in front of the players' benches. At this time, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Can you turn up the dial? Welcome to WCTV Sports. We have varsity girls basketball from Wareham High School tonight. Vikings hosting the Wildcats of Westport High School. This is going to be a tough challenge for the Vikings tonight. Westport 7-1 overall, so a very good, very tough team 
I'm doing a little uh, old school announcing. I'm also the cameraman tonight. Nice takeaway by Pierre. This is what I like about this, this Vikings team is they're aggressive. They're not going to be intimidated. They are going to make things happen on the court. Andrews bounces it over to Phillips. It gets away from her, but recovered by Carly Glover. Vikings are trying to find a shot here. The 10 on the shot clock. Tompkins is going to put up a three, and that's off the mark. But a rebound by Zora Andrews, and her layup is blocked. Should be two from the line. Westport foul on Sarah Perry, her first, team first. Sora Andrews at the line, shooting two. And knocks down the first one, give the first points of the game to Wareham. Andrews makes them both, so it's a two nothing lead for the Vikings. Less than a minute into the game, 7.18 left, quarter number one. Foul against Johnny Tompkins. Mm -hmm. Where him foul against Johnny Tompkins, her first, team first. Westport puts up a three that's off the back of the rim. Rebound. Nice job keeping it in bounds. Jenna Egby, the center. Stolen away by Johnny Tompkins. Nice put back by Phillips. Gets it taken away from her, though. Be another foul against Johnny Tompkins. We're in foul on Johnny Tompkins, her second, team second. Jenna Egby at the line, shooting two. Johnny's really shocked, but she was moving her feet at the time of the foul. She's, she's, she's going to have to be careful. She did get into foul trouble and fouled out of the game against Fairhaven. So that's two on her already. And we're only a minute and a half into the first quarter, a minute 45 seconds. Egby knocks down the first one. Now looking to tie it with the second. The sophomore center, one for one from the line, makes it two to one. In favor of Wareham. Westport picks that pass off. Here, nice defense guarding the lane. She's gonna get called for the foul. Basket's good. Basket by Sarah Perry is good. Where in foul against Kier Pierre, her first team third. Sarah Perry at the line shooting one. Westport gets the rebound. Jenna Egby. Oh no, another quick put up by Westport. Holden. That pass blocked. Westport very aggressive. See, Mercedes Perry is in the game for right now for Tompkins, who has those two fouls on her. Grand foul on Mercedes Perry, her first, team fourth. Sarah Perry at the line, shooting two. Nice backspin on that ball. 
sinks the first one. Makes it eight to two. Uh, second one's off the mark. Perry fighting for it. Call a jump ball. Jump ball. Where ball? Session arrow favors the Vikings. Trailing by six with 529 left in the first quarter. Westport with a couple of quick back-to-back -back baskets on the previous exchange. And have knocked down about half of their free throws. Wareham in trouble on the foul in the foul area. They've already got 14 fouls on them. It's gonna go out of bounds. Out of bounds. Wareham ball. And Carly went to the floor. She seems to be limping a little bit. Yeah. I think Wareham's gonna, yep. Time out. Wareham. Tompkins coming back on the floor. Perry's gonna stay in for Carly Glover. And Wareham will inbound. Just no look pass over to Andrews. Here got the rebound, had her shot blocked. Perry puts one up, that's off the front of the rim. Again, Wareham fighting on the offensive boards. They had two or three opportunities there, so good job on the offensive glass. Nice by Hernandez. Tompkins has it knocked away from her. Off the backboard. Andrews with the rebound. She needs help. Ah, Colin traveling. Traveling against Wareham. Westport ball. How can you travel when you're on the floor? I think it's because she rolled. Probably. She, she was looking for help. She needed help, and it didn't get there fast enough. Tompkins trying to take the pass. That goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Westport ball. There you go. Andrew's all over Holden, and Johnny knocked the pass out of bounds. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm continuing to be impressed with the defense that Hernandez is playing. She's been up against some pretty tough shooters. Lee Sylvain. And she just continues to double double team, double -team but she Thompson's gets it back. Game. She needs help. Somebody's got to come back and help her. Corinne Holden. Westport ball. That shot's partially blocked and off the rim. Megan Malloy. 2 to 14 with 3.16 to go. Timeout, where him? That's a good timeout. She yeah. was going to lose that. Bounds, Westport ball. Trying to get it over to Mercedes Perry. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
Out of bounds, Wareham ball. Nice job by Wareham contesting that shot. Getting seems three like, defenders around the offensive rebound. Seems like Oakley is trying to play the same game, but trying to keep them on a half a court rather than chasing them all around. Mm. Pierre almost knocked that one away. Grin holding. Pierre there to take the pass from Tompkins. Out of bounds, Westport ball. Well, Andrews was looking out, and Phillips looked in on that pass, so a little cross up. It goes out of bounds. The official um, put the ball in too quick. We weren't even yet composed. Mm. Open three, deep three. That's gonna be short. Phillips gets the rebound, gets it away to Tompkins. Tompkins drives through traffic in the lane, no good. Clean play, she tried to swap that ball away from Sylvain. 146 to go. Two to 18. Mm. 140 left in the opening quarter. Jump ball. Jump ball, Westport ball. Westport continuing to be very aggressive all over the floor tonight. Another look at a three, no good. Rebound, Wildcats. Jump ball, where ball. That's a nice effort by Phillips contesting Egby there. She came back and made that happen, didn't let Egby get it away from her. Here, chasing it down. And she gets fouled. Plus four foul against Corinne Holden, her first team second. I'm happy for anything to get called, but mm. that was a really weird foul. <laughs> the ball was loose and they were running after it. That double team you're talking about seems they're sniffing the ball out no matter who's got it. Out of bounds, where handball. You see that a lot in boys basketball, but um, and then there's a lot of mimicking going on here in Westport. They're playing full court press, mm -hmm. and our team is playing half court, just trying to get down and then setting up plays. Andrews just got knocked down to the floor again, but she got it away to Perry. Perry finds Pierre. Andrews is going to put it up. Rebound Westport. Twenty-two seconds. Time for one shot. Man. Wow, she was hammering from the back. Why wasn't that a foul? Literally, it went out of bounds because she got pushed. Mm. Ten, nine. Traveling, wear him ball. So maybe one long pass and get to put up the last shot of the quarter. Gonna be Pierre looking for it. Nope. Into the first quarter, Westport 18, Wareham 2.
Rough quarter for the Vikings, not able to get any field goals. Those two points came on a pair of free throws. Which you should also do. Um, Oh, Glover's back on the floor. That's going to be a good sign. She's going to be okay after going to the floor in the first quarter and coming out. Nope. Up and over and into the hands of Zora Andrews. Johnny finds Glover. Oh, close. Egby's got that height advantage under the basket. Leah Sylvain. Oop. Leah Sylvain for three. Westport with another takeaway. Ooh, off Johnny. Egby getting triple teamed. Jump ball, wear handball. My mic's good. Okay. Your mic's fine. Okay. Now it's 2 to 21. Good rebound by Pierre. He can't get it to fall. Kicks it back out. That's another deep three. That's going to be no good. Air ball. Egby tries to keep it in bounds. Puts it right in into the hands of Andrews. Moves it up to Carly. Glover double teamed. Is they're still staying aggressive. Tompkins, nice job to get that pass. Test, test so her one, shot's going to be a little one, short. Two. Perry keeps it in bounds. Tompkins fighting for the loose ball. And it's picked up by Westport coming the other way. She was on her back. They got a one on two. Glover able to force her to pull back. Sarah Perry. Johnny splitting the defenders. And that gets put on the floor, picked up by Perry. Perry looking to feed Holden, but she couldn't handle it. Maybe with another rebound. Stolen by Andrews on the pass. They were looking for Egby under the basket. Andrews knocks it in. Zora Andrews. Cuts the deficit to 19, four to 23. Five minutes left in the second quarter. Long two was no good. Tompkins looking for the layup. Goes off the glass. Timeout, Westport. I also apologize to anyone watching. I'm trying to fix the stream, cover the camera. Uh, I'm also having camera issues. And you're doing commentary with me, so you got your plate full tonight. Woo, old school. <laughs> Johnny finds her way to the basket. She puts it in. Johnny Tompkins. Six to 23. Back to back points. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. There you go, there's some of that formation we saw the other night. 
That's a contested shot. Phillips trying for the rebound. Nice. Andrews right there. Right where she needs to be. She's done that on more than one occasion tonight. Oh, thank you. Westport foul on Leah Sylvain. Her first team third. Johnny Tompkins at the line, shooting two. So that's that's a break the Vikings need, and I'm glad they called that because they were all over her as she was trying to go up to the basket. First one's gonna be off the mark. All right, our stream has finally caught up. <laughs> we were uh, going off uh, four minutes behind. Or at least now in the right quarter. Johnny makes her second. Makes a seven to 23 Westport lead. With 329 left before the half. My charging for Nice also block died. by Tompkins. But Westport got it back. Working inside. Nice block by Rihanna. Great job by Phillips. Whoops. Up ahead, over the head of Tompkins, and out of bounds. We want to keep her off that hand if we can. Yeah. But again, give credit to Phillips right under the basket, contesting the shot, getting the rebound. Tompkins up and off the bottom of the backboard. No call there, she was looking for one. Perry comes down with it. Andrews finds Tompkins up ahead. She's gonna pull up, mid-range jumper is gonna be over the basket. Seven and 23, 225 to go. That's what I like about the Vikings. They, they don't give up and they continue to play their game. Andrews works her way to the baseline. Hook shot, no good. Under two to play in the second quarter. Sarah Perry. Up ahead to Phillips at midcourt. Perry makes it 25 to seven. Wildcat lead over the Vikings. Glover into the paint, kicks it out to Andrews. Andrews puts it to three. That's off the rim. Phillips trying to keep it alive. Got it back, and Glover came down with it. Took a shot at a three, good looking shot. Long three, rebound Wareham. Just about a minute to go. Andrews finds Perry. Sorry, Tompkins finds Perry. Out of bounds, Westport ball. Yeah, out of bounds on Rihanna. There's an open three and an out. Out of bounds, we're handball. 34 seconds remaining in the half. Wareham trailing seven to 25. Might be enough time for uh, at least one shot.
Phelps works her way to the basket, but can't get it to fall. And Egby with the defensive rebound for the Wildcats. Egby has to kick it back out. That three is off the rim. And that's how the half will end. We're here trailing seven to 25. And in the second quarter, Westport 25, we're him seven. And uh, we're gonna shut our microphones off and we're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. Westport bringing it in. Egby has it knocked away from her, and it's going to be off Westport and Wareham Ball. Out of bounds, Wareham Ball. Glover has it stolen away from her. Nice he cross rides over and in. Three. Corinne Bolden. Pierre trying to get it to Thompson's. Bounce pass to Holden. Holden banks it in. Corinne Holden. Holden with two quick baskets to get the third quarter started for Westport. Graham trails seven to 29, seven minutes remaining in the third. So one minute into the second half. Westport doing a good job of Getting down to the basket early, getting the shot. Oh my God, what a wonderful. Leah game. Sylvain for three. She was almost way back here. Hey. Westport foul on Julia George. Her first, team first. They called Andrews out of bounds. I didn't see it. I heard the ref say line. I didn't think she was anywhere near the sideline, but I'm up here, he's down there, so I'm gonna trust his eyes. I don't even trust my eyes half the time. <laughs> well, sure out. Jumper, no good. You gotta watch her. She she's the one that was taking those uh, Three-point shot yes, from downtown. From far, yep. Jump ball. Jump ball, wear him ball. Oop, can't do that. This is sensitive <laughs> mic. I was like, what's that noise? My anxiety's getting the better of me. <laughs> Drumming on the mic, I get uh, that gets picked up. Tompkins Andrews. Tompkins tries a three off the mark. Oh, that one's no good, but Andrews comes down with the rebound, gets it up ahead. Tompkins by herself, and she's not able to keep it in bounds. Out of bounds, wear him ball. She's starting to get frustrated, which is understandable. She takes a lot of pride in, in her game. It shows in her classwork, too. Mm. Good job, takeaway by the Vikings. They just need to be careful. Westport's still right there. Nice. Carly's going to get a look at a three, a little short. I think Westport had a little bit of that. It didn't seem to go up as high. She was finding her shot in pregame warm-ups, but kind of like we discussed earlier, it's easy to sink those shots when you don't have anybody in your face with that pressure. Andrews gets the rebound. rebound. Who's 21? Egby. Egby. Jenna Egby. She's very fast hands. Yes. Oh, 
Nice pass over to Carly Glover. Out of bounds, where handball. Andrews loses a handle on it, goes out of bounds. Out of bounds, Westport ball. <laughs> Shelby Orr, senior forward, checks into the game for the Wildcats. Egby's calling for it, gives a hit. Hands off to Orr. Pierre gets the defensive rebound. Tonkin's looking for Glover. Glover, I think, got held up a little bit. Out of bounds, Westport ball. Westport is doing a really good job anticipating who it's going to go to and mm -hmm. who to drop that double defense on. Two, no good. Egby, Pierre trying to take it away, and they call wow. the jump ball, but that's going to go Westport's way. Jump ball, Westport ball. Pierre was a little winded. She thought she was going to get elbowed mm. there. Long three. Nothing wow. but net. She shot from yeah, the so room. for three. She shot from the C in Brazoli court over there. Yeah, almost on the sideline. Like that was a very long three point. That's gonna be a backcourt violation. A good defensive move by Hernandez it though, because you don't want to let them be all alone down there. Mm. Getting the points. Graham down seven to thirty-five with three seventeen to go in the third quarter. That one's short. Perry with the rebound finds Tompkins. Tompkins is out ahead. Look out, nice Johnny layup. Tompkins. Nine to thirty-five with three minutes to go in the third quarter. She had Sylvain chasing her down. Sylvain let her go though, and that she would have fouled if she tried to get any closer. Mm. Where's the ball? They're going to call jump ball and possession arrows going to wear him. Jump ball, wear him ball. That's the weirdest jump ball I saw. They both had one hand on it, but mm. neither one of them had control of it. <laughs> and they were both sitting on the floor. And I think they both had their hand. The ball was behind, behind them. them. They were yeah, back to back. In the middle. <laughs> Tompkins, nice little behind the back dribble. Looking for Hernandez. Egby steps in front and takes it away. Good defense by Wareham, not giving her a shot. And on top of that, forcing it out of bounds off of Westport. Out of bounds, Wareham ball. Egby was very frustrated at that. Yeah. Is that uh, Tompkins puts up a shot that's going to be no good? Out of bounds, Westport ball. Is that uh, Andrews and Hernandez on the back end defense down there? Mm -hmm. Westport makes almost a full bench changeover. Mm. Go get it. Nice job by Andrew. All right, they're out. Come on. Time out, Westport. Should be out. Uh, Westport's ball. Yeah, it is. They're going to inbound. They got um, 
Tess Sylvia on that far sideline. Open look at a three. Whoa, in and out. That, that was going in big time. Out of bounds, where handball. Ooh, ooh. Westport foul on Tess Silva, her second, team second. Check that. Check that, that wasn't right. I thought he said 12, but the board says four, and that's Sylvan. I thought I heard him say 12. It's okay. You can't see it with this, mm. the way the stanchion is over mm -hmm. there. Carly took a incidental tackle. But Westport showed good sportsmanship, helped her right back up, make sure she was okay. And she was. Out of bounds, Westport ball. Maya Irving's gonna come in for Wareham. Give Rihanna Phillips a break. Foul against Andrews. Wareham foul against Sora Andrews. Her first, team first. Megan Malloy at the line, shooting two. So the junior at the line for a pair of free throws. Always got one more. And that one's off the rim. Graham gets the rebound. Johnny Tompkins bringing it up the other way. She got fouled. She tried to get around those three players. Westport foul on Corinne Holden, her second, team third. Johnny Tompkins at the line, shooting two. She did a really good job, mm -hmm. just at least getting the ball up to cause it to be a shooting foul. Mm -hmm. Johnny makes her first. Got both of them, so that's gonna make it 11 to 35. Westport on top. Just over a minute to go in the third quarter. And the clapping you heard was the last of the uh, original, um, the starting five. Take a seat. Nice effort by both Westport and Wareham. Westport tried to keep that alive offensively, and Johnny Tompkins matched a step for step. Pierre's coming the other way now. Tompkins able to step in front, give it back to Pierre. Pierre! Pierre, Pierre! I apologize to the viewers at home. I was looking at the thing and realized I hadn't moved the camera. <laughs> Twelve seconds. Wow. For in holding for three. Five seconds. Four. Johnny's just gonna three, have to put it up. Put two. it up. There you go. Wow, wow, she made it. Johnny Tompkins for three at the buzzer. End of the third quarter. Westport thirty-eight. Wareham sixteen. That was a nice shot. Yes, it was. I'm glad I didn't feel it. <laughs> Start of the fourth quarter, Westport leads Wareham 38 to 16. Nice job by the Vikings defense to close off that open free. The basket's good and a foul. Westport 
We're in foul on Leah Phillips, her first, team second. Basket is good, Jenna Egby at the line, shooting one. So Egby got the basket and the foul. Oh, bounces off the back of the rim. 40 to 16, Westport on top. Glover shot a little short. Nice, nice job by Walker Phillips, Phillips. And she gets the rebound and the put in. Brianna Phillips. Rams starting to find a groove now. And they did. They put number four, uh, the starting players. Yeah, back they did. In. That would have been awesome if it worked. Out of bounds, Westport ball. Have to chase it out from behind the bleachers. I always found that weird that like the other bleachers are like right against the wall. Shot clock violation. Yeah. Wait, they still counted it? That that didn't hit any iron. That just hit backboard. But uh, they played on. Andrews off the front of the rim. Glover able to track it down. Tompkins over to Andrews. Andrews had it blocked. I know it didn't hit any iron, but what I'm saying is it hit the floor again. They picked it back up and they shot it again. I know. It shouldn't have gone to wear him. Shot clock violation. That's what I mean. You, you, the shot clock doesn't reset unless you hit rim, at least. So I don't know why they were allowed to pick that back up. And I'm sorry I missed who made the basket for Westport because I was expecting a turnover. But nonetheless, it's 42 to 18. Phillips, nice, nice. job. Rihanna Phillips. 20 to 42. Leah Sylvain. That was a weird shot, but it worked. She like fired it at the basket and it just popped back in. Yeah, and that was one of those old hook shots from the 70s. Whoa, Andrews. Zora Andrews. Is that for three? It was for three. Or three. 23-44. Wareham's making Westport play. They can't take their foot off the gas. Corinne Holden. Johnny's running out of gas. But she's been on the floor for most of the game. Really long pass. Up ahead to Holden. Holden, no good. Anders wrestles it away from Julia George. Stolen away. Hard foul against Pierre. We're in foul against Kira Pierre, her third, team fourth. Corinne Holden at the line, shooting two. Got one more. Jump ball, where is that? Good job by Mercedes Perry getting in there. 
23 to 47, 435 left to go in the fourth. Tompkins puts up a little floater in and out. Taking a look at a three right off the inbounds. Good job by Perry to wrestle that away from Malloy. Pierre puts one up the other end and in. Kira Pierre. 25, 47, 403 to go. Kira steps up. McKay to with the rebound. Contest the shot. Force her to miss. Tompkins from about the foul line. Can't get it to go, and Malloy with the rebound. That should be out of bounds. It was off, off the stanchion. The stanchion. They called a foul against Westport, but it should have been out of bounds. It should have been blown dead as soon as it hit the rope. Westport foul on Megan Malloy, her first, team fourth. Pierre trying to set the screen. That shot's blocked. Hernandez is in for Tompkins. We're going to foul on Zora Andrews, her third, team six. Sarah Perry at the line, shooting two. Well, Wareham can only, can't do any more next foul. No, it'll be in the bonus, yep. But she was fouled while she was shooting, so she's got two shots and she makes her first. Got one more. She's made it 48 to 25. Second one's off the mark. Out of bounds, Westport ball. Loy, nice, nice job by Andrews. Traveling? Traveling Westport ball. Zora's confused. I'm confused. She dribbled and then threw it. I think the referees are getting tired. Yeah. McKay uh. almost had it. Perry able to contest the jumper. 2.33 to go. Andrews in the paint. Puts nice. it in. Zora Andrews. 27-48. Perry. Open three. No good. But a rebound by the Wildcats keeps it alive. Nice block by Pierre. She needs help though. There's that double team again. McKay able to help her out. Hernandez trying to go cross court to Pierre. Lee Sylvain. Sylvain stepped right in front of it, took it the other end. She's, like I said before, they're watching where right. it's going to go and they're anticipating it and they're there. Pierre setting the screen. Out of bounds, Wareham ball. 
even like the screen, they saw the screen coming mm -hmm. up, so they knew someone else had to jump in behind. A minute 18 to go. Double team. Westport is going to start to slow it down now. A lot of passing, one shot kind of ability. They've been doing that for most of the game too. They've been controlling the yeah, pace, but controlling the clock. They're I mean, really I just, going to slow oh it yeah, down now. Definitely. They're going to use every second of that shot clock. Twenty-seven fifty-two. Thirty-eight seconds. McKay could have taken a shot there. Bounces it inside to Andrews. They're gonna have a jump ball. Jump ball. Where him ball? Nineteen point nine left on the game clock. Andrews throws it into McKay at the top of the key. Andrews called for it and got it and puts it in. Zora Andrews. Ten seconds left. Yeah, probably Westport's gonna just going to walk it, it up. And that's going to do it. Final score, Westport Wildcats 52, Vikings 29. All right, so that's gonna do it from Wareham High School here tonight. Final score, Westport 52, Wareham 24. This was a tough game as we expected it to be. I mean, Westport's now eight and one on the season, so they're a really tough basketball team. But again, credit to the Vikings. The one thing that has impressed me about this team from the beginning of the season up through this point, this late in the season, they do not quit. Coach Ogilvie's got them playing with a lot of heart, a lot of intensity, and they play hard from the starting, starting whistle to the final whistle. But um, I mean, it was kind of hard. Like Wareham was held to zero field goals in the first quarter. The only two points they had in the first quarter came off a pair of free throws. Uh, they scored five in the second. They scored maybe nine in the third and finished with 29 total. But uh, Westport just very aggressive, full court press all during the game right from the get go. So congratulations to Westport. Uh, join us again. We'll be back on Tuesday and Friday this week with the boys. So thanks for joining us on WCTV Sports, and we'll see you next time.